Entry 640 was sixth. 641, tenth. Entry 642 did not show. 644 was 18th. Entry 645 was eighth in the class and the third junior. 646 stood fifth. 647, 15th. Entry 648 did not show. Entry 649 was third in the class and second junior. Dublin Hills Sassy ET exhibited by Dublin Hills Farm, Nichelle Upton of Thurmont, Maryland. Entry 650 was 16th and the sixth junior in the class. Entry 651 was the winning entry and the first junior in the class, Fairdale Elite Deborah, exhibited by Michael Barton of Copake, New York. Entry 652 stood 21st. 655 was 17th. 656 was 13th and the fifth junior. Entry 657 did not show. Entry 659 was second in the class and was the winning bread and owned Cavell's Wonder Tia Encore, exhibited by Emmy Cavell and Dave Lebowitz of Knoxville, Maryland. Entry 660 was 12th, and entry 665 was 14th in the class. The class now in the brown Swiss ring is the winter heifer calf class. First place in this class will be presented by Illinois Brown Swiss Association. The bread and owned award will be presented by Elite Dairy, Peter Vale and Ken Main of Copake, New York and the Junior Award presented by Cliffbrook Farm of Monroe, Wisconsin. Judge Trapp has completed his placings in the senior three-year-old cow class. There are 13 animals in this class. Would our junior exhibitors please take a step forward? I'd like to begin by recognizing our production award winner in the class. She is entry 2407, Mapleton Valley J. D. De La Flirt, shown by Thomas Agnew of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. At two years and three months of age, in 365 days, she produced 22,969 pounds of milk with a 3.6% fat, 858 pounds of fat, a 2.9% protein, and 689 pounds of protein. Our second place junior in the class is entry 2412, Richie's Flash Clara, shown by Abby Poe of Muncie, Indiana. In third place and the first place junior, and also the bred and owned a winner in the class, Landsbrook Cherokee EXPET, shown by Monica Landsgard of Landsbrook Farms, St. Olaf, Iowa. In second place is entry 2409, Welcome Party Cabaret EXP, shown by Jason and Linda Swanson and Julie Aves of Garden Prairie, Illinois. Winning the class and the title of Best Utter is entry 2403, Walnut Grove Sandy EXP, 
shown by Dallas Butts of BDF Milking Shorthorns, Corey, Indiana. Congratulations, and now our judge. Well, a nice group of senior three-year-olds out here, kind of some different shapes and sizes out here. But when you get them all lined up, we have the most complete cow with the best udder win in the class. Uh, this cow's got a hard top. She's a long, clean dairy cow with just a tremendous rear udder. Great seam and nice teat placement on her. And for a big cow, moves nice on those rear feet and legs. She goes over this big cow that's coming out in second. Our first cow for us just got more dairy quality from end to end and spells a little bit more milk from end to end. She's a little more femininely made up through her head and her neck longer and leaner in her neck, a little sharper over her shoulder. And then when you get in behind him, just has a tremendous advantage in height and width and extension and bloom to the rear udder than this cow that's coming out in second. This cow in second, you just love certain parts about her, but we just need to give her a little bit more dairy quality, femininity up through her front end to get her in the first spot today. But she uses that tremendous overall length of frame, the width of rump. Of it. If I could direct your attention to the International Brown Swiss show ring, Judge Lammers has completed his placings in our winter heifer calf class. At this time, it's my pleasure to announce third place in the class goes to entry 682. She's also second place junior in the class, our line Galaxy Lady AET, exhibited by Renee Holthaus of Bangor, Wisconsin. Second place in the class, goes to entry 670, Blessing Braden Bounty, exhibited by Blessing Farms, Cade Blessing of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And our winning entry, the best bred and owned and first junior in the class, is entry 694, Dublin Hill Sonora, exhibited by Nichelle Upton of Thurmont, Maryland. Congratulations. And now for his comments in the class, Judge Lammers. In this class of intermediate calves, when you get this first heifer in line, she just overpowers the rest of the class with her size and scale and width and power that she has. Tremendous rib on this individual. You love the depth and openness, the drop to that rear rib. That's what gets her over a heifer in second. I prefer the openness of rib in our first heifer. She's got more drop, more spring of rib today when you get behind her. In addition, she's a little taller at the point of withers than the young January heifer here in second. Close placing in the class for me, second over third, giving the January the heifer the advantage. She's just a little taller at the point of withers. She's a touch longer from end to end. When you get behind her, she's wider from her hooks to her pins than her heifer in third. Third heifer, what a beautiful profiled heifer. When this heifer hit the ring, you love her from the side, the style, the balance that she has. She's got that beautiful deep open rib. But when you get her in line today, she's just not quite enough frame, not enough width through the rump to compete with those top heifers in the class. But giving her the advantage over the big heifer in second. When she is in line, she's fuller in those crops. She's snugger in the shoulder. Just prefer the way she holds that front end together over the big uh, stretchy heifer here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, she uses that width all the way through. She's wider through the muzzle. She's wider through the chest today than a really dairy open ribbed heifer coming out here in fifth. Fifth heifer, you love the openness, the silkiness, the hide this individual has. Just like to give her a little more width and power all the way through to compete with those top four heifers in the class today. But it's that advantage in rib and openness and depth of rear rib today that gets over another straight-lined heifer coming out here in sixth. 